Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here coming at you with a binder video. Um, I wanted to start up this series again that I had originally started when I had done videos in the beginning. Um, and I wanted to start off with 1961 Tops. Um, not the most popular set, but it has really become a favorite of mine. Um, design wise, Pretty bland uh, name on the front, position right next to, or team name right next to it, um, and position below the name. Nothing too exciting. Uh, green backs with black lettering. Uh, it does give the whole career uh, stats on the back, and there are cartoons at the bottom of it. Uh, it's checklisted as 589 cards uh, for a complete set. However, there was only 587 cards. There's two cards missing. And there's a card that is misnumbered. Uh, the two cards that are missing are... Well, there's no numbers for card number 426, 587, and 588. Um... Two cards were numbered 463. One was the Braves team card and one was a player, Jack Fisher. Uh, the team card is the one that's checklisted as card number 426. So uh, that might sound a lo little confusing, but basically the, there's two cards that have the same card number and one was meant to be card 426. So... That's that. Um, there's high numbers in this. Uh, they range from cards 523 through 589. Uh, there's quite a few subsets in this. Uh, I used to think that the 67 set was challenging. Uh, in the uh, 60, what is it, 66 high numbers challenging. Yeah, as far as scarcity goes, yeah, maybe they are uh, a little harder to find. Um, but pound for pound, the high numbers alone in this set, uh, financially a lot tougher. And this stuff isn't easy to find in high grade. Uh, Centering is a huge issue with this. Print dots is a huge issue. I've done my best to build this... Uh, at near mint to mint raw i mean i'm sure if they were graded which i'm never going to get these graded but uh i'm sure they would grade fives sixes sevens even eights um so when i say near mint to mint i'm looking at you know centering i'm looking at no print dots i'm looking at four sharp corners things like that my roger maris as you can see it is off-centered left to right. I may or may not go back and replace that someday. It, j it just depends. Uh, I do have a running checklist of cards that I've been been replacing uh, because they're just they were just way way off-center. Um, let me see if I can find an example here of one that's on my checklist. Actually, make this easier on myself. I have my list here. Card number four. I have on my replacement list. Let's look at card number four. Um, yeah, I, I can see snowing, bag corner. So that's why that's on the list. Uh, number eight, Dick Williams. Yeah, also a little bit of rounding, touching corners. So that's why I'm real particular with this set. Um... I started out buying this set in lots and just picking the best cards from them. And then I was, you know, keep checklisting all of them. And I started looking through them and, and how just they don't look good if they're not centered good and, and, and if they're not clean. They just don't look right, in my opinion. And this set gets a bad rap as it is um, for its basic designs and stuff. But... I gotta be honest with you, this is a challenging set. If you, if you think about it, uh, this set has the most Mickey Mantles in it, which is six. 
Um, there's 80. If you, if you just collect the Hall of Famers, there's 80 cards, which isn't the most Hall of Famers. The 62 set has 82, um, which not taking anything away from the 62 set. The wood and green sets are a real pain in the butt. But just uh, just if you're just looking at centering and uh, the lack of print dots and focus and stuff like that. I'm going to take this off the thing here. Um this is a really challenge challenging set and then when you get into like the, the uh you know like i said there's six mickey mantles there's there's the first one um and there's an mvp card there is his regular issue card which i still don't have that i have four out of the six i think i i still need the all-star one which is a high number um I had the MVP Mickey Mantle for this set when I, I got it when I was a kid. I think my friend had two of them and I traded for the one. But uh, I've, I've paid up pretty high on the Hall of Famer cards and my uh, high numbers. Um, so if, if you guys are looking for a challenge, and I'm not, I'm not talking about getting them graded or anything like that because that's just a whole other whole other ball of wax but uh you can spend a fortune on this just looking for high grade raw cards and you know going through and replacing them and i've done some videos where i bought some replacement cards uh but um just you know looking for 80 hall of famer cards see this one's this is on my list it's really bad way off center round corners I think there might even be some snowing, uh, but uh, not to mention with the fact that uh, you're competing with the Mickey Mantle collectors, you are competing with the Hall of Fame only collectors uh, for this set, and you were competing against their quality control back then, which was, as we all know, not so great. You know, so there's three rookies, this being one, the Billy Williams, um, Ron Santo is the other one, and Juan Martial. Uh, all three pretty tough Hall of Fame rookie cards, like I said, to get in high grade. And if you're buying them graded, you're talking even, you know, even way more money. Um... But that was my intention with this at first, was just building the set. And then, see like this Whitey Ford uh, is off-center. No, I think that might be on my list. I have to check. But um, if you, uh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. Anyways, if you want a, a challenge, uh, try building this raw high grade. And... Uh, Finding them is one thing, uh, financing it's another, because it's 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 a tough set, um, and I don't know if that's why a lot of people don't like it or if it's because they just don't like the overall look of the set or what. But uh, I think this set's really nice. I mean, this is uh, you figure Maris and Mantle were battling for the home run record. Um, the Pirates had uh, upset the Yankees the year before in the World Series. So you, there's a lot of things going for this set uh, that are, po in my opinion, that are positive. So if, if you're looking for uh, a challenge, this would be a challenge. And uh, I'm not taking anything away from the uh, 67 set. I, I think with those, they're just in shorter supply. Um, and I did read somewhere about this set. Uh, not just the high numbers, but I forget where the where they started. But the, the first like 500 cards or so, or first 300 are, are in 
plenty full supply, but it's the next 300 and some that are, uh, were, were, uh, printed less. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not. I was just looking different things up about this set because I started thinking about it and I'm like, this has got to be the set that has the most Hall of Famers, uh, cards, you know, and, uh, turns out that the 62 set was, but then, uh, I started counting all the Mickey Mantles and I'd only counted five, but then I looked and here I've, I had missed one. Uh, and I looked that up, and it, sure enough, this has the most Mickey Mantles in the set. So, you know, there's a, a lot of a lot of good things about the set, and a lot of pain in the butt things about the set. But I'm gonna skip forward here a little bit. This is uh, another tough card, the Yastrzemski, the second year card. These team cards. At least there's no checklist on the backs of those. Um, there's another subset, the 60 World Series. And here's where you're going to have another uh, mantle card. I don't, I don't think I have this one. Or wait, do I? Yeah, I do have it right here. And I actually need to replace that because when I bought this, bought it at the nationals and it was dark and i should have pulled out my light and i, I just didn't see this so it's going to be one that i will be looking to replace at some point um jump forward here a little bit but yeah, when I'm bidding on these, like the cards here that have these rookie stars uh, in, in high grade, they go for a lot more. And a lot of these guys are just basic, basic guys. The Sandy Koufax, I didn't see it till I was putting it away in my binder, but it actually has a pinhole. Can't see it now, right there. I didn't see it when I bought it, but when I was putting this card away, I was sitting down on my sofa, and the light hit it just right, and I'm like, that's a pinhole. And the guy that sold it to me, I don't think he even knew there was a pinhole in it, because it was just, you have to be in just the right light to see it, but that'll be another one I'll be replacing. It's a shame, because it's, it's not, uh, top to bottom is off a little bit, but overall, it's a pretty decent shaped card. That's the Frank Robinson I bought by accident. I will be replacing that. And you might be asking yourself, how do you buy something by accident? And it's at the Nationals. I forget which one. But I was looking up Frank Robinson cards on eBay because I was thinking I'd just buy one there. And put the phone back in my pocket and apparently didn't shut, up, shut off you know, eBay or get out of the eBay page I was in and I bumped the buy it now button and <laughs> committed to buy it. So luckily I didn't spend a lot for it, but not how many. Yeah, I'm gonna, there's another subset here with, you know, you got a Babe Ruth in it and Hornsby. Walter John, I think it was Walter Johnson, one of these. Matthews, some. Yeah, right here, Walter Johnson. And you can just see that right there. Little things like that. That's I'm trying to avoid that, but you know. Right there. Jackie Bear, I think it's pretty good shape. Now, like I said, if I if I were to send these in for grading and stuff, I'm sure they would come back a, a five, maybe maybe a six. They're not going to come back gem gem mint or anything like that. I don't have any any grand illusions of that. I'm just looking to build, you know, as close to 
mint as possible. But like I said, it is a challenge. Um, skip forward here. I mean, you get the MVP section. There's my mantle that I had when I was a kid. I mean, just, you know, just Hall of Famer after Hall of Famer. I'm still missing some pretty big cards, aside from some high numbers. I, I only need a total of 42 more to finish the set, but I still need the, the maze, the mantle, another mantle, three mantles I need. So I have three of them. I need a Campanella MVP, maze MVP, Aaron MVP, and then it jumps into the high numbers. Uh, I think I've picked off most of the low-hanging fruit, and now I need more of the uh, more expensive ones. And the other thing about this set, when you get into these high numbers, even though they're a common player, some of the guys command a higher price because they're just extremely difficult to find in a high-grade condition. So you will pay pay a premium for them if you get get the high grade ones i think there's one in here i paid 70 dollars for so uh just be prepared if you're looking to take on a uh take on a challenge like this uh like this hoyt wilhelm very expensive very expensive high number right here this roland sheldon i think is the one i, I think i paid like 70 bucks for it just extremely expensive for a you know, common player, if you will. And then you get into these, uh, let's see where a lot of blanks are. You get into the uh, sporting news and you get into some more uh, Hall of Famers there. Another Mickey Mantle's in here, a Willie Mays is in here, a Nelly Fox, uh, Hank Aaron. Ernie Banks, Aparicio, Brooks Robinson, Whitey Ford, and Warren Spawn is the last card in the set, card 589. So, anyways, guys, uh, if you got any questions about this set or any concerns about this set, you just you know just drop me a line and uh, be interested to see what people's feedbacks are on this set. Like I said, it's become one of my favorite sets. Uh, from the 60s. So thanks for watching guys and have a good day